Hi guys, and welcome to part three of Tarot Clowns. This episode's tarot card is the Magician. The Magician tarot card's key meanings are power, influence, willpower, resourcefulness, skill, ability, logic, intellect, concentration, and psychic powers. Reversed, the tarot card means manipulation, greed, unused ability, untrustworthiness, trickery, conniving, cunning, and a lack of mental clarity. This card is the first in the pack. Its element is air, its planet is Mercury, and its astrological signs are Gemini and Virgo both signs ruled by Mercury. Now let's look at the layout, colour and symbolism. The Magician card is most often posed with one hand pointed to the sky while the other points to the ground. This position reflects his connection between the spiritual and material realms, which is what the Magician uses to manifest his goals in the physical world. In a way, he is the bridge between heaven and earth. He is normally depicted wearing a red robe over the top of a white robe. His white robe represents purity, while the red robe represents experience and knowledge. On the card, there is always a table before the magician. On this table, there will be a cup, a pentacle, a sword, and a wand. These objects signify the classic elements of earth, water, air, and fire. They are connected to him as they are the tools he uses to translate his ideas. He is often depicted with flowers growing around him. These flowers represent his ideas and aspirations blossoming. Another detail, generally, is a snake used as a belt wrapped around his waist. He, the snake will be biting its own tail, which is a sign of unlimited potential. Instead of including the snake, I did include the infinity symbol hanging above his head, which is also a symbol of unlimited potential. A fun fact is that the objects on his table are each of the items that the minor arcana depict in their cards. The cup represents water and it represents emotions. The sword represents thought and fire. The wand represents the spirit and air. Lastly, the pentacle represents the manifestations of reality and also earth. I'm worried that in the designing process of making this card, I lost most of the clowny aspects of it and made it more like the magician card than an actual clown magician. <laughs> the stripes and polka dots I give to the magician's clothes in this final bit here sort of were a way for me to bring back a bit more clowniness to the design. I can't really say that I'm upset though. I really do enjoy how this card looks in the final images. And I can proudly say that I got lost in the source of imagination as I was creating this card, purely just enjoying the process of making it. I really enjoy the color and the layout and the pose. The only thing that I would improve on was to make the image a little bit more clowny from the beginning. Other than that, I'm really pleased with the design and I'm glad it turned out to look like the magician. This time as well, I learned a neat little trick uh, to sort of put the tape over my jeans before I put it on the paper, just a few times, and it sort of removes most of the stickiness. 
and I found that really helped not peel off a ton of paper. <laughs> and there we have it. Once again, I'm really happy with this one and how it came out. I think this is possibly my favorite card so far. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.